What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of KOW Collection Unboxing. And today we are unboxing the all new, all elite wrestling Jazzwares Cody Rhodes figure by Jazzwares. I think I already said that, but anyways, guys, I just unboxed that that Chris Jericho. Make sure you go check that video out. Also got Kenny yesterday, filmed that one. Should, yeah, that one should be released before these two. So if you haven't checked that one out already, make sure you go check it out. And I'll put a link in the description or, or I'll put a banner. Or I'll put, leave it at the end of the video and you guys can just click on it. But today, right now, we're going to get into this Cody Rhodes. And I'm excited because I've been waiting a while to get these bad boys and finally got my hands on them. Uh, shout out to, um, man, I forgot that guy's name, but... I'll, I'll, I'll put a shout out on the Kings of Willowbrook page, guys. Make sure you go on, on Facebook and Instagram and follow Kings of Willowbrook. Um, you know, we got one at, uh, at Kings underscore of underscore Willowbrook. And then on, uh, and that's on Instagram. If you go on Facebook, it's just Kings of Willowbrook official. Um, but don't worry about having to type all that out and copy and paste or whatever. Just, I'll put a link in the description below and you guys can, like I said, just, just click on through. Click on through. And don't miss out, guys, because I'm loving these AEW figures. And, god damn it. I keep, I keep turning that little tab. I, I try not to mess up the boxes too bad. Because I'm a nerd. Alright, let's see. And I really should have done this before the video, but it's whatever. I can ramble. And it's okay because this is a, a wrestling, wrestling figure channel. And, you know, this is a place for that. This is a place to just ramble about wrestling figures, guys. Don't be afraid to, to you know, chat it up Ugh. with me amongst yourself. I don't care. Ugh, so, here comes the American Nightmare, Cody himself. Man, really. Really loving Cody and AEW, man. He's really kicking ass. Yeah, I'm very happy for him. You know, I'm, I'm not so much of a WWE mark that I can't appreciate and enjoy, you know, another rap. And thing like that, so. uh, that's a cool figure. Oh, man. That's a neat Cody. Oh, man. It looks just like him, too. Oh, that's so cool. Man, and yeah, like I was saying, guys, I love these the articulation on these figures. Uh, I didn't notice this in the Kenny video, but I noticed in the in the Jericho video, and now this one. Um, the figures up top here, they have plastic. It's it's like a solid plastic up here in the torso or the, the chest, but the but the abdomen, like the the midsection right here, is like rubber, just straight rubber. So it's a hard rubber too. So, but it it really just does wonders for the articulation. Um, Okay, so yeah, this 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 belt just comes right off. Does he leave it on during the matches? I don't remember. But they put the plastic on there, I guess, so it wouldn't stain. So I don't I don't know if I'm gonna leave it on or not. I need to I need to look into that. Um, I guess. Well, yeah. So here, that's another thing that I didn't point out in any of the other videos. They're they're pretty easy to to take apart. So you know, for like customizers and you know part swappers and people like that, you know, these are apparently easy to uh, customize and, you know, customize, I don't know what other word I would use, but I mean, that's a beautiful, awesome kit, Cody Rhodes figure. I've been wanting one too, uh, you know, an American Nightmare one. You know, I see people do like customs and they would look amazing because they would come with the belt and just anytime you see someone doing like custom work, man, it's it's awesome. Man. I really admire people that do uh, custom customizing jobs and just really good jobs at that too. And there's some really impressive people where you know the custom jobs they do are way better than what the manufacturers. And but we're not talking about customizers. We're talking about this Cody Rhodes Jazzwares figure. And you know I've seen people do customizations. I'm gonna probably have to do a touch up on the face because if you look, there's there's something wrong with his lip. I, and apparently from what I've read on like online forums and stuff, it's like they, they print the, the, the face on basically it's, it's, it's molded, but they don't like hand paint it or, or I, I don't know what, how they typically paint the, the figures before, but 
apparently now they're just like printing like the face onto the mold now you know, all the paint so sometimes it comes comes out a little off and i think something happened with his lip there dude looks like he he's got like a chocolate milk mustache or he looks like them latinas from like the 90s that just did like lip liner and no lipstick it was just lip liner you know that's that's what homeboy looks like i mean it's not too bad it just looks like he's really puckering like he's just like I don't know, it's not like, like severe duck face, but I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. And I don't know, I was actually considering maybe like sending these in to like customizer and just getting the, the, the body, the, the color, the skin tone, you know, a little, you know, a little, uh, a little love. But, but aside from that guys, I mean, it's really not a big deal to me. I, I really like the figures. Like I said, I love the articulation. I love like the little rubber, you know, abdomen that they have here it kind of reminds me of like the old bcas the, the jacks uh, bone crunching action ones and this one doesn't have as much of a okay you can kind of hear it i mean it it it, it reminds me of the old bcas it's got some of that bone crunching action you know it sounds you know their, their joints are tight and and you can hear a crunch when when you move them so pretty awesome cody figure Maybe I get one of them customizers to put that neck tat on there because I personally don't mind the neck tat. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's a new age. I think the whole purpose was for him to put that there and just, hey, you know, I'm a CEO and I can get a big ass tattoo on my neck. So I, I'm, I'm for it. You know, as a 90s kid, I'm for it. But I love the Cody figure. I love the, the outfit, you know, um, blue and gold. It's just an all around badass figure. He came with a sledgehammer. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if this is the outfit he wore at, um, what was it, All In or, or whatever first pay-per-view they did where he came out with the with the <laughs> Triple H throne and then just, just smashed it with a sledgehammer. I thought that was cool. Nothing against Triple H. I love Triple H, but that, that was cool. I mean, I, I, I like how these guys started out guns a-blazing, you know. Jim Quinn has been shitting on them, and he's been kind of, you know, he's been kind of making me, uh, not second guess how much I like them, but he, he makes a lot of good points about some of the stuff they, they do that kind of, I, I just think is not gonna work out well for them in the long run, but they're just, they're, they're brand new. They're still, they're still, you know, they're still young. So I'm like, man, get, give them time, man. I, they, they can't do worse than some of these other federations have. So there is AEW Unrivaled Cody and here is AEW Unrivaled Chris. And then we got AEW Unrivaled Kenny, and yeah, those are the my first three AEW figures, and these are the only ones I really plan on getting for now. If I happen to come across uh, Brandy and and the Bucks and and Walmart, which who knows when that'll ever happen, because they were supposed to come out a long time ago and they never showed up in stores. Only a handful of people were able to find them in stores, but. Something happened with Walmart distribution or Jazzwares warehouse or something. I don't know what happened. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is I had to buy these online. I had to pay a little extra. That I'm a little upset about. Not not so much the skin tones and, you know, the face, the face scans and all that stuff. But uh, aside from all that, these figures are just badass, perfect. I, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pass on them. So, guys. If, if you like these guys, if you like any of the other figures, I'd say go and take a chance. Go for it. And that would be a lot of fun, especially if you like playing and doing figure photography and videos like I do. Have at it. Go ahead and have fun. And, and if, if the skin tone's an issue, face is a... Dude, you can send them to customizers, to people who, who need the work, who, who like to do this stuff, are passionate about them. Make your figures look a thousand times better. Better than these, so... But, but there, there's no such thing as like perfect figure and at the end of the day they're just toys but i like them i love them a lot uh, i'm not putting them down whatsoever and uh that that's my review that's the unboxing guys and thanks for checking out the uh, aew unrivaled unboxings uh if you haven't checked out the other ones go ahead and check them out uh, i'm gonna go ahead and link them down below and like i said i'm gonna link down all the social medias i already told you guys to follow everything so, uh, so far, I appreciate the love and support. Everybody has been commenting. You know, it's, it's been few and far, but I appreciate it because this, this is what I love to do. And th this, is, this is the place for collectors and, and, and 
just figure enthusiasts, wrestling, wrestling fans in general to just come together and just have a ball. So thank you guys for the love and support. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, peace, love, and chicken grease.